Hi, Governor Romney. It's me, Trick, again. Um, I went back and watched through your short little video again and remembered the other point that I wanted to make. And that is, um, you mentioned at the very, very end that you think that instead of, you know, preparing our, our children for this, for lack of a better term, you know, filthy and sin-ridden world that we have created for ourselves. You you think that we ought to, you know, clean up society. Now, it's not that I don't think that's a good idea, because I can most definitely agree with you that there are certain parts of society that definitely need cleaning up. Uh, let's be honest, politics for one. I think we can all agree on that. You know, I don't think that we'd agree necessarily on the other parts of society that we each think need cleaned up. But that's beside the point. We both agree that society does need cleaned up. However, realistically, I don't think that's a very realistic goal to have. I mean, changing society, unless you have something, you know, some sort of catalyst, some sort of, of immense you know, cataclysmic social upheaval happen. You know, the the French Revolution or the American Revolution or even, you know, the, the years of the hippies. You don't change society all that quickly, even with those massive catalysts. Society doesn't really change that quickly. Cleaning up society is a very good dream, but as a reality, it doesn't happen that quickly. It takes a very long time for society to change. Now, once again, I must say that I don't think we should necessarily ignore society and not try to clean it up. I'm all for trying to clean up society and all. But I just think that since it's going to take so long, don't you think we ought to expend at least a little bit of effort into preparing the children for the world that they are going to have to live in? Don't you think we ought to prepare them for a world so that they aren't just born into it thinking, oh, this is the way things are and this is the way things should always be? Don't you think we ought to prepare them for... Don't you think we ought to prepare them enough that they can actually survive long enough in this world and not just become numb to it all? Survive long enough so that they'll change it. Because as high as your expectations and dreams about changing our society may be, It's not you that's going to change our society. It's not even me that's going to change our society. It's those kindergartners. They're going to be the ones that are going to change it. Or we're at least going to need their help. I apologize, this video is also longer than I intended. They're not quite as long as the last one. Once again, I hope this gets through. Um, and good luck on your campaign. I wish you the absolute best, as I would anybody else.